Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the concept called average. As you all know that there will be some questions will be given in different competitive exams. Okay, we'll see how many ways that we can calculate average. Okay, as you all know that average can be calculated in different ways. Okay, the basic method that we can calculate average is equals to, okay, as you all know that it is sum of observations divided by total number of observations. Am I correct? Total sum, sum of observations divided by total number of observations. This is a basic way to calculate average of any values. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll just consider one small example. Okay, if I if I want to calculate average of one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, how we can calculate by using this first process? Average means sum of observations. Here, total we have uh, five observations. Okay, so total we have five observations. So if you add all these, one plus two plus three plus four plus five, so which will gives you fifteen divided by five total number of observations is five okay so 15 divided by five will give you three so we can call the three as nothing but average of one two three four five okay but in exams okay in order to save time if it is a smaller numbers we can calculate it by sum of observations divided by total number of observations okay when they are asking any question in exam they will not directly give you find average of the given values okay there will be little tricky tricks involved in the particular questions okay so we have to think it in different ways to calculate average okay here in this video i will teach you how many ways and different ways to calculate average average questions okay so if you observe here okay just uh we'll just discuss about the first type okay for the same question one two three four five okay now can i say that these series whatever the given numbers is in consecutive numbers okay is in consecutive order means consecutive in the sense like increasing number okay or uh, immediate number okay so one two three four five so total here we have five numbers this is the first way to calculate average okay we got answer is three now if any consecutive numbers if you see any numbers which is in consecutive okay so average is nothing but directly we can say that answer without solving or without using any formula middle number is average okay here if you observe this series what will be the middle number so middle number is three so i can say that three is the average okay so on also another way to solve if the given series is in consecutive okay so another way to solve average is nothing but first number okay first number plus last number divided by two okay if any series which is in consecutive okay first number plus last number divided by two so what is first number one plus last number is five divided by two what is six by two which is equals to three Okay, this is how we can calculate average in different ways. This is the basic formula that everyone knows. Sum of observations divided by total number of observations. But in exam, we can see some questions. We can directly tell answer which answer is correct on average just by looking at the question. Okay, but, but for all the questions, okay, this is not applicable. Okay, this is applicable for when the given series is in consecutive order. Okay, so we need to be very careful about this. We can't consider middle number is an average for not all the numbers. Okay, only for the set of numbers which is in consecutive order. Suppose, uh, let me give you one more example here. Okay, uh, let's consider 72, 73, 74, 75 and 76. Okay, can you guess what might be the average of these numbers? Of course, it is here if you observe 72, 73, 74, 75 and 76, which is in consecutive order. So average is nothing but the middle number, which is nothing but 74. So 74 will be the average. Okay. And I hope you all are clear with this first rule. Okay. When remember that when the given series is in consecutive order, okay, directly average will be calculated by either considering the middle term, it will be very easy or else we can also calculate it by first number plus last number divided by two. Okay. This is for consecutive numbers. Okay. This is for, okay. This is for consecutive numbers. Okay. Now it is not only about consecutive numbers. Okay. Uh, let me tell you one more example let's consider 1 comma 3 comma 5 7 and 9 total we have five numbers again here okay if i will ask you to calculate what will be the average of these numbers 1 3 5 7 and 
nine. Okay, now here this is not in particular order like one, two, three, four, five. But here, if you observe one, three, five, seven, and nine. Okay, now can I say that this is consecutive? Okay, consecutive odd numbers. Okay, consecutive odd numbers. So even if the given series is in consecutive odd series, so average is nothing but middle number. Okay, so here average will be five. So if you observe one, three, five, seven, and nine. Okay, even if you will calculate the sum will be one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine, it will be twenty five. So twenty five divided by five will gives you five. Okay, now the next number third third rule. Okay, it is not only about consecutive odd numbers. We can also consider, okay, consecutive even numbers as well. Okay, when when we can consider consecutive even numbers, okay, you can guess what might be the series here. It is not only about starting with two, four, six, and so on. We can start it with any number. Okay, two, four, six, eight, and ten. Okay, let us consider this is the numbers. So, what will be the average here? It will be six. Okay, so we can easily guess answer will be six. Why? Because the middle term will be six. And you may have some doubt. What if here we have odd numbers, right? Okay, so the middle number is the odd. Uh, middle number is average. What if if we have? Let us consider. Okay, forty-eight, fifty, fifty-two, fifty-four, fifty-six, and fifty-eight. Okay, now if you observe here, forty-eight, fifty. 52 54 56 58 all are even numbers okay now can i say that this given series is in consecutive even numbers so what what will be the answer of average average is nothing but middle number if you observe here we have two numbers left side and two numbers right side now we don't have particular middle number here we have two numbers left out in the middle so very simple even here also we can consider now exactly middle means here we, this is what the middle line so here left side three numbers right side we have three numbers in between 52 to 54 what will be the number left out 53 so this will be your average and i hope you all are clear with this average concept okay so uh, importantly remember three rules okay average can be calculated either by considering consecutive numbers okay like 1 2 3 4 5 or 96 97 98 99 100 okay this is the first one how we can identify average means directly middle term Even if it is in consecutive odd numbers, okay, or consecutive even numbers, whatever it might might be the series, okay, average will be considered as the middle number, okay. And I hope you all are clear with these three rules. And let me give you one more important rule in average. This is most important one, and most probably just by using this logics, okay, they will they will give you questions in competitive exams, okay. So I will tell you one more simple. Okay, simple way to calculate average to make you understand about the concept of average. Okay, as we all know that average is nothing but as we discussed in the previous slide, sum of observations divided by total number of observations. Okay, but here I just wanted to give one more definition for average, which is nothing but equal distribution. Okay, equal distribution. You just remember this word. Why I'm calling it as average is nothing but equal distribution. Okay, let me give you one small example. Okay, can you tell me average of? Okay, let's consider average of three comma three comma three comma seven. Okay, what will be the average of these numbers? How you can calculate average of these numbers? Let's try to solve this question by using our normal process. Okay, adding up all the values here. Three plus three plus three is nine. Nine plus seven is sixteen. So sixteen divided by total. How many numbers we have? Four numbers we have. Okay, what is sixteen by four? Four. So average of these given values is four. Okay, now here what I'm just going to consider here is equal distribution. Okay, now for the same values, I'm just considering one small example. Let us consider. Okay, there are three friends in a class. Okay, each friend is having three chocolates, three chocolates, and three chocolates. Okay, total three members are there in the class, each having three chocolates. Okay, now if I will ask you what will be the average number of chocolates, of course answer will be three. Why? Because everyone will be having equal chocolates. Or if you want to add these values, three plus three plus three nine. Nine divided by three will gives you 
3 so average will be 3 how we are getting average is 3 means everyone okay here three members in the class each person is having three chocolates means equal number of chocolates they are having so average is nothing but 3 now the same one okay let's consider the second scenario now fourth person added now fourth person came to the class with seven chocolates okay fourth person came to the class with seven chocolates now if you if i will ask you average number of chocolates in the class is nothing but here total four members are there but first person is having three second person is having three third person is having three fourth person is having seven chocolates now if you add some will be 16 total four members in the class okay which is equals to four as we calculated in the previous way okay but what i am trying to say that is equal distribution we need to distribute that values equally okay okay so here when we have seven here i'm just distributing one chocolate to the first person and one chocolate fourth person is distributing one chocolate for the first person and one chocolate to the second person and one chocolate to the third person okay now can you tell me how many chocolates are there for the each one this person is having four why because already one given by fourth person now this person second person is also having four chocolates for third person is also having four chocolates now already he donated three chocolates to the previous three members so he is left with four chocolates now now what i can say that is all four members are having four chocolates each having four chocolates so now all members are having equal chocolates so average is nothing but four okay so very simple here we need to understand average is nothing but equal distribution suppose in a class of 50 members each person is having one one chocolate 50 members are having 50 chocolates if i will ask you average average is nothing but yes each one is having one one chocolate okay total number of chocolates is 50 sorry 50 okay so we can call it as average is nothing but one why because everyone is having one one chocolate now if anyone entered into the class with more number of chocolates it's very simple we are just trying to distribute the per distribute all the chocolates to all the members equally okay so this is also one of the important approach in average okay where we can call it as equal distribution so guys uh, just remember that average is nothing but it's not only about sum of observations by total observations remember that average is nothing but equal distribution okay and i hope you all are clear with this average concept and in the next video we'll just try to solve some more questions and important questions on averages okay thank you all